Hi all, it's Dan here again. I'm uh, just going to run you through the Demon Hunter skills from level uh, 13 because I've just been playing the beta, that was the max level you could get to at the time. So I just want to run you through the abilities that I got to so you can have a taste of what we can expect when it comes out this May. So first off, we're going to go through some of our primary abilities. The first one is this Hungering Arrow. And this pretty much just shoots out an arrow to the enemy and there's a small chance as well that it's going to penetrate the enemy and go through to a, an enemy that's nearby. And as you can see, against this guy, there's no enemy nearby, so he actually goes through the enemy and comes back through him again. So you're pretty much getting double hits on your single target. Um, and it's good for a bit of AoE as well if there are multiple targets time. about. Now, the next primary ability that I've just chosen then was this entangling shot. And this is your, your snaring ability, pretty much. Because as you shoot it, it'll chain together the enemy you shot and the nearest target to it puts that purple spell effect between them and it's going to slow down their movement speed significantly. So it does a bit of damage as well, it's not as high as the other um, the other primary abilities that you've got, but still it's good if you're on your own and you need to keep the enemies off of you. So that was Entangling Shot. Now the next shot up then is this Bowler Shot and this, I first off I didn't like it so much but it's grown on me as time goes on. You shoot pretty much a rope and with grenades on it, ties around their neck and after a second or so it detonates. So it's good for AoE because it's going to hit any other targets which are near to them. Um, what I should point out at this stage is I, I was currently in a party of three when recording this because I wanted to make sure that the enemies didn't die too quick. So the enemies have boosted health My and they're taking quite a long time to die. So don't think that the ability is particularly weak. Keep in mind I am playing against enemies who are significantly stronger than they should be. So that bolo ability, normally it can kill enemies in one or two shots, so you can run past them, shoot them twice, and it should kill a bunch of them, which is quite handy, so it was quite useful towards the end of it. So we're now looking at the secondary skills. So the first one we're looking at is Impale, and these secondary skills, they take up your red resource, your hatred at the bottom. And uh, Keeping in mind, I just told you that the enemies are quite strong. If you look uh, at this ability in action now, it's one-shotting them or two-shotting them. So it's quite a strong ability, but you can see it's taking up my, my main hatred resource at the bottom. Now in order to build that resource back up, you can just use your primary shot. So you see me now, it doesn't even have to be on an enemy, you can just spam it, and that's going to increase your hatred, as you can see I've done there. Okay, so the next ability I'll show you then, this is a secondary again, it's going to take up hatred, and this is rapid fire. And for quite a high amount of weapon damage, it's just going to spray in front of you. Yeah, it's pretty much a machine gun to be honest with you. Um, so I'll go and show you how this works on some enemies now. So, if you just excuse me a moment while I try and find some enemies. Now this particular ability, um, it, it, it feels cool when it starts off, but it ends up feeling like you don't have to do much, you're just holding down the button and spraying. But, regardless, make of it what you will. See, once again, it does quite impressive damage, and the amount of uh, hits it gets in is quite impressive. Now, that spray there took pretty much all of my hatred, so you can't just keep it pinned down indefinitely, but you can keep it down for quite a long time. And you can hear what I've done here. I've just put a trap down to slow down the bats, and then sprayed them. And you can spray it in any direction, as you, as you can see there. But uh, it doesn't hit that hard per hit, so really, you do want to keep it focused on an area at a time. Now, the next ability then is this chakra ability, which is not particularly my favourite, and you'll probably see why in a moment. So, what this does is throws out this massive gold star, as you can see. Now, if it hits them, it's great, but it does follow that slightly strange pattern, as you can see. Now, the good thing about this is it doesn't take much of your hatred, so you can spam it. But I'd pretty much say this, while it's unruined at least, it's going to be an AoE ability where you can just fire it out around you and hopefully make contact with the, the enemies around you. Um, I didn't have that much enjoyment out of it at this stage, but perhaps later when you ruin it, because some of the runes will change the way that it moves, um, that it'll become a bit more interesting then, I think. Okay, so now I'm just going to chuck on back my favourite Impale. I'm going to show you um, some of the more defensive abilities now that's going to take up our discipline. So the first one is going to be this Caltrops, which puts a trap down on the floor. And to begin at least, all it does is slows down the enemy. So I'll just show you this in action now. 
put the trap down and when it's activated it turns that blue colour and you can see it really does slow down the enemy significantly. Yeah. Kind of keeps him grouped up which is quite nice for your AoE abilities as well. So um, yeah, it works alright. Now this ability really got a bit more useful when you develop this Vault ability. Vault is the one that's allowing me to jump about quite quickly. Otherwise it did seem a bit redundant to run in and try and trap them and then run away again. But when you're jumping around as I was then it, it works quite well. So the second one that I'm about to show you then, this is called Smoke Screen. And this replaces the trap, so you ha either have this or the trap ability. And once again, if I can just find some enemies for you, I'll show you exactly how this works. So the idea then is through using this ability you drop aggro, you pretty much stealth away completely and the enemy forgets that you were there. So yeah, pretty much it makes you invisible for two seconds and during that time you can run away um, and you'll see, I'll use it again now just to let you see how it works. So I've got a good few of them chasing me now, i run over to this guy, set him a bit and then just drop aggro now. And they've all lost. So you can see it, it does have some use, it's probably quite good for PvP as well, but it's good for if you're feeling you might get into a few tricky situations. Now I just put the trap back on. And the first rune for that just makes the slowing effect more significant. Now, just to explain that vault ability I've been talking about then, it allows you to jump around quite quickly, as you can see, but every time you use it, it does use your blue resource to discipline, so you can't completely spam it. I feel that the uh, vault ability really brought the Demon Hunter into its own as well, because it gave you that mobility that you don't have on the earlier levels. Now, on the earlier levels, it became quite cumbersome to to run in and put a trap down, run away and then start attacking the enemies. As soon as you've got this ability it allows you to really move out quick and use your utility without being punished for it. You're not wasting time and it actually is quite enjoyable to play. It makes you feel a quite cool moving about the battlefield with that speed. Now the downside to it is it means that I didn't really use my other second ability that I could use for that slot which is um, preparation. Now this preparation ability what it does to you is it restores all of your discipline. So you see I've just put trap down waiting. to use my discipline. I use preparation. It's got quite a long cooldown mine, but it restores all of your discipline. Now, at this level it really wasn't useful because the only thing that I was using my discipline on was either traps or that vault ability. And when you've got this active, you can't use vault. So it's only if you're going to be spamming traps that it becomes useful at this level. Now the last thing to talk about quickly then is our passive skills. So the passive skills that I've been using throughout the video is this tactical advantage one and what that does it gives you two second speed boost after you use that vault ability. We've also got thrill over the hunt which stuns every third shot and we've got vengeance which is generally a hatred boost passively. So thanks for watching, hope this has been helpful for you guys. Um, if you want me to make anything else feel free to leave a comment and like the video. Thanks for watching. Be swift and silent.